Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Journey to the centre of the earth. Hello, Mrs. Fothering Girl. Have you come to teach Daisy and Poppy? Yes, Nanny Plum. And this time, I am not going to let Daisy and Poppy get the better of me. That's the spirit. She's doomed. Mrs. Fotheringill is here to give the twins their lesson. Are you sure you really want to do that, Mrs. Fotheringill? We'd quite understand if you... Oh, no, I have thought long and hard about it. And what happened last time was not the twins' fault. It was my fault. But the twins zapped you to the South Pole. Only because I didn't give the little darlings enough trust. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> now, Daisy and Poppy, let's start this lesson as we mean to go on. <laughs> let's just open our picture books and... <laughs> what are they doing to her up there? The last time she taught the twins, they made her disappear. All they found was her shoe. Disappear! Now, Daisy, I know the deep down you're good and you'd never make me disappear. Disappear. <laughs> ah, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. I hope Mrs. Fotheringill is all right. <gasps> all that's left of her is her shoes. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, where is Mrs. Fotheringill? Gone. All gone. Gone? My goodness! The twins are so wild and naughty. Where do they get it from? Grandpapa Thistle is here. There's your answer. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Grandpapa! 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 Papa. <laughs> Hello, my dears. I was just passing and I asked myself, why don't I take my grandchildren for a day out? Hooray! Hang on, Dad. Where were you thinking of taking the children? I thought we'd visit a volcano. Um, I don't think climbing up a volcano is such a good idea. We're not going to climb up it. Oh, good. We're climbing down inside it. What? You can't take children into a volcano. It's too dangerous. Is it? All right, then. How about lion taming? No. What's wrong with a nice walk in the meadow? I bet the twins would like to go down a volcano. Yes, Grandpa Papa. Papa. The twins are in disgrace today. They have been very, very naughty. Ah, what have the little darlings done? They've only made their teacher disappear. Oh, that nice Mrs. Fotheringill. Gone. All gone. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent your teacher? Down. Down to the kitchen? Down, down. Down to the cellar? Very down. You know what? I think Daisy and Poppy have sent Mrs. Fotheringill to the centre of the earth. Centre of the <laughs> We have to rescue her. Well, that's settled where we're going for our day out then. To the centre of the earth. <laughs> journey to the centre of the earth. There were dinosaurs and lost tribes and everything. Dinosaurs? In the centre of the earth? What nonsense. It's true. I saw it on the telly. How do we get to the centre of the earth? We could just take the stairs. Stairs? Yes. There are secret stairs in the little castle that go down, down, down. Ooh. The stairs start from a secret entrance in the kitchen. We just have to press this large button. Oh, I've always wondered what that button was for. I built these stairs when I built the little castle. I asked myself, why have stairs only to the cellar? Why not to the centre of the earth? You're a bit crazy, aren't you? I'm not crazy. I'm completely bonkers. Look, there's some writing on the wall. It's runic writing written by dwarves. What does it say? Nanny, can you translate it? 
Hmm. It says, take these stairs down to the centre of the Earth. At the bottom, you'll see dinosaurs. Does it really say dinosaurs? No, I made that bit up. But there will be dinosaurs. You'll see. <sighs> No, Holly. We have to go past the roots of the plants, the drains, the giant spider caves. It's a long way to the centre of the Earth. So how many steps do we have to go down? 48 million trillion thousand. Oh, no. My feet are tired already. That's why I got the dwarves to put a lift in. Doors opening. Hold tight, everyone. The lift does go rather fast. Doors closing. Going down. Whoa! Oh, my tummy! This is fun! Brilliant! Centre of the Earth. Doors opening. Here we are, the centre of the Earth. It's a huge cave. It's full of trees and giant mushrooms. Yep, that's how it was on telly. Well, one thing that's not here, dinosaurs. <laughs> There's one. Oh. See? The telly is always right. But now that we're here, how do we find Mrs Fotheringill? Gaston can sniff Mrs Fotheringill's shoes and find her. Brilliant, Ben. <laughs> Find Mrs. Fotheringill. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> I wonder where we'll find the lost tribe. Lost tribe? What nonsense. Whoa, look at that. A lost tribe. Told you. They're elves and fairies, just like us. Halt. Who journeys through our land? We come from the surface of the mighty Earth. We welcome you, surface dwellers. We thank you, O oh Lord of the Underground. Nanny, why are they speaking in that funny way? That's how they speak on telly. We bid you greetings. Uh, actually, we've come to get Mrs Fotheringill. Ah, the one we call Teacher. Yes, that'll be her. Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fother... Hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. Oh, hello, everybody. We're here to rescue you. And we've brought your shoes. Oh, my shoes. It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here. A bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Fothergill! Fothergill! Ah, Daisy! Poppy! Ah! On the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Oh, no. Not that horrid lift again. My poor tummy. There is another way up. We can go by balloon. <laughs> Just need a basket. Abracadabra. All aboard. Goodbye, people of the underground. We bid you farewell, surface dwellers. See ya. Oh, floating gently up in a balloon sounds lovely and relaxing. It certainly will be lovely and relaxing. If you can call hurtling through a volcano relaxing. Volcano? Of course. The volcano will take us straight up to the surface. Dad, I said no volcanoes. Oh, we'll be fine. As long as the volcano doesn't erupt. Whoops, seems to be erupting. Oh, well, here we go. Next stop, the little castle. Now, Daisy and Poppy, say sorry to Mrs Fotheringill for causing her so much trouble. Sorry. And do you promise to be good next time I teach you? We promise. Oh, they are sweet, really, aren't they? She never learns. She's doomed. <laughs>
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The wand factory. Oh, strawberry. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, Nanny Plum. Hi, Holly. Hi, Strawberry. Have you come to join us for wand practice? No. I came to see if Holly wanted to play. But now you can join us for wand practice. Uh, but I don't know where my wand is. You're holding it. Oh, yes. So I am. Come along. You know how much fun wand practice is. Ugh. Right. Now you can practice lifting rocks with magic. Up and down. Up and down. Up. And down. down. Up and down. down. Very good. Keep it going. Up and down. down. Up and down. down. Oh. Oh. Hi, Holly. Hi, Strawberry. Do you want to play football? We can't. We have to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, Strawberry, how's wand practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the Elf Factory! Look, Nanny, wands are magic and elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I've broken my wand. She bashed it on a rock. One moment, please. Wise old elf. Wise old elf, please report to reception immediately. Ah, Princess Holly, what can I do for you? Holly's broken her wand. She bashed it on a rock. I see. Not to worry, we'll just mend it. Follow me. Now you will need these hard hats. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone. We're going deep down. How deep down? Level 500, the wand factory. Ah! <laughs> level 500? It's the deepest level there is. Why is the wand factory so deep underground? Because wands are magic. And elves don't like magic. So we built the wand factory as deep underground as possible. <laughs> oh, my tummy. Now, what's wrong with your wand? It broke itself. She bashed it on a rock. Yes, yes, but we need to find out exactly what's wrong with your wand. Ooh. The X-ray shows it needs a new stick and a cog service. This way. 
This is the stick house, where we grow wooden sticks for wands. But there are loads of sticks just lying around in the meadow. Ah, but the stick for a wand must be specially grown. And made from the right type of tree. Correct, Nanny Plum. The wood for my wand comes from a plum tree, because I am Nanny Plum. The wood for your wand, Holly, should come from a... Holly tree! Exactly. So, Strawberry, what tree does your wand come from? Um, it must come from a strawberry tree. Oh. Let's see how that feels. Hmm, it's a bit big. It just needs a little trim. This stage of wand repair is a mixture of woodwork and gardening. Is my wand mended now? I'm not yet, Princess Holly. We need to mend the head. Follow me. This is the clockwork room. Ooh. Spinny Ikulpu clamp, please. Any ickle poo clam? Wooble cone. Wooble cone. It all looks very complicated. Bending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The fidge fudge rotter whistle stick. Whistle stick. Hmm, interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade. We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Palum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Your wand seems to be working perfectly. Don't wait ten years before getting it serviced again. Yes, wise old elf. Sorry. Thank you for mending my wand, wise old elf. You're welcome, Princess Holly. <laughs> It's good to have you back again, Wand. I promise to take special care of you from now on. Yes, 
Don't bash it on a rock. I won't. <laughs> <laughs>